another great question from Glenn here, who asked, given your experience in church, what enticed you to return to church, you know, to give church another try in the end? Here's what often happens. I'll be sitting at, say, in an airplane or in the, in the lobby or a doctor's office or something and just chatting with the person next to me. And they'll say, what do you do? Oh, I'm a Christian author. Oh, is that right? What do you write? And I tell them some names of books and they'll say, well, you know, I used to be one of those religious types and um, I just couldn't swallow it anymore. I said, well, why not? And they'll tell me a story often about something that offended them in the church, maybe the way they treated uh, a divorced person or a gay person or anti-science or just legalism, you know, these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And and I just sit back and say, oh, uh, it's a lot worse than that. Let me tell you my church stories. <laughs> And they'll say, well, I thought you were a Christian author. And I said, well, I am. Uh, and I, I know the flaws in the church, but it would, be a, it would be a sad trade to forfeit having a connection with the God who created the universe because of the way somebody treated you 30 years ago. And it took me a while to understand that and to cut through it, but it's worth the effort. It's worth the struggle. And I, I hope that someday you, you find the grace and the healing that I have felt because I truly believe foundationally that the heart of the universe is love, that God loves every one of us. And God wants you to feel that love in the same mm. way. For more conversations between Christians and skeptics, subscribe to the Unbelievable podcast. And for more updates and bonus content, sign up to the Unbelievable newsletter.